the game Slime Easy Sky Memories is a gacha game based on the time I got reincarnated out of the Slime anime. If you didn't watch the anime, go check it out. It's pretty good. And this game came out on October 27, 2021, nighttime or October 28, 2021. Uh, morning, which is I guess on their local time when it went live, it pretty much went live everywhere, right? So this is the first time the game came out. There's no servers beforehand, so there's like no real tier list. But the gameplay consists of three icons of like the three characters on your on your team randomly uh, on the board with a maximum of like a six, and then you can actually kind of on the right side you can see which one is upcoming, like at least one of them. And each turn, you choose either matching colors or matching character of the single type. It will unleash the attacks in that order. And then there's also skills, which that each character can bring to the table as well. And you also bring in a protection character, which acts like a leader in a sense. And then it brings in the leader skill, uh, passive skill, and uh, active skill. Usually, the passive skill is like buffing one element and another element is a five star. I think four star is buffing one element. And of course, you know, stats are different. And then the stats actually apply to the whole party. But yeah, each character can also have a sub character here. Uh, let me, yeah, so sub character here. And the sub character buffs the corresponding character that's paired with. And each character can also have their own set of equipment as well. So, anyways, yeah, so there's three colors for attacks blue actually increases your bar for your protection character so you can unleash the protection character's ultimate uh, in my case i have water maylim uh maylim gives guard to the whole party which is great and i believe um i think the blue gets the extra damage buff it's been a i haven't paid attention because i've been alling most of the time after you beat certain levels and you start grinding you just alling Anyways, yellow increases the corresponding character's ultimate bar because each character will have their own ultimate attack as well. And green increases your skill points. And of course, each skill has their own certain amount of skill points that it needs to use. And every time you use them, it increases. So you can't just keep using it uh, nearly willy-nilly. You got to be careful when you're going to use them. The game have each character broken down into elements. Uh, water is strong against fire, fire is strong against earth, earth is strong against space, space is strong against wind, wind is strong against water, and then light and dark are strong against each other. So the reroll process of this game is pretty easy. So as you clear it once, you can just go back to the settings here, go back to the title menu, and then there's a menu on the top, on the bottom left, you click on that and just go, go delete data. And then um, if you already beat it once, you just skip it. It asks you if you want to skip the tutorial or the pro and the prologue. And then you can just go right into the first tutorial roll, which guarantees a random five star. It's random. You don't know what it is, but it's guaranteed a five star. Uh, the launch also gave you like 11 tickets as well. So you can pull for a second ten pull after you do like a, like a match, or just a single match and stuff, and then do a bunch of clicking clicks. And then... Uh, if you can get at least two five star, which I suggest, this is a reroll. Right now, there is a dark uh, event with Diablo and Xi'an. So that's also good. So you might want to go for a dark team. It's pretty uh, nice right now. It's a lot of dark units. You get Orc Disaster. Dark Xi'an's already in the game. And there's a Protector Xi'an as well, which also um, is a Protector. So you can Orc Disaster or uh, Dark Xi'an and go for Diablo and Xi'an. You have your like dark DPS, and then you also get a free dark Benny as well. And then you can level that up by doing the event and stuff. But yeah, so after you get the two five stars, you can go for a third tempo as well and see if you want to keep it or not by talking to the Great Sage and then getting your nation to 450 citizens. It will have you have enough for a third reroll. So I finished rerolling on my fourth reroll um, when the game first came out, before the event came out. And the first tutorial summon gave me Xion which is the, the dark waifu here, <laughs> the dark waifu unit. And then the second temple gave me infrared, which is a protector that buffs fire and light. So I went for a third one because protectors are pretty important in this game because um, it's like the leader skill. And, uh, but you want one with a matching element, at least one of them, like either the sub one or the main one. And then I got light Xion, which is helpful because that uh, fire and light form infrared. 
So that benefits somewhat, not not too much, like the 200%, but at least I get a 100% buff. So I continue the game, and then now I'm like at 201 EP, which is like the the party battle power or whatever. I don't know what E stands for, to be honest. Um, and I'm still running Water Mei Lim as my protector. So I'm running Dark Xion, Water Rimuru right now, Space Rimuru, and with Water Xion. And then as my backup unit, I have the double <laughs> double Xion. You get a free Wind Xion um, in the game. This is like the regular bingo board and stuff like that. They give you it for free at launch. It's like the launch celebration thing. And then of course I have my light Xion, not soon, Suna, not Xion. Light Suna and Wind Suna are the ones, and you get that's the one you get for free. I keep getting them mixed up. But anyways, I'm hoping I was hoping to get a five star Benny for the fire team, but yeah, now right now is more water space centric. I do want to make a dark team because right now my Xion is the DPS. And then my water Rimuru is the healer, and then space Rimuru is the buffer. <laughs> so, anyways, there is a leak uh, that human Veldora, the you know the dragon, is gonna drop soon. I can't wait for that. Um, I'm not gonna say too much, but fireballs. <laughs> anyways, in my opinion, if you enjoyed the slime anime, give it a try. It does feel like your typical gacha game, though. If you play other gacha games. Um, like with the battle system, it's kind of similar to like Fate Grand Order or Punishing Great Raven with the matching stuff, but it's not exactly the same. Like you can pick it any order you want. It doesn't have to be next to each other or anything. And it is turn based, right? Uh, it does have uh, a bunch of currency in the shop, and it does have a nice housing system to build your nation, which you do need. It's for the citizen stuff. Um, so sometimes you'll be blocked by certain things just because your citizen upgraded and you get, it's pretty much like your passive income to get like foods, to increase bond and bond will give you gems. You also have like molecule we use for upgrading your level of the character and also give you passive these uh, rocks with use for ability release. So the way that it kind of works is that you try to do the story and then you go as far as you can. If you get stuck, Right, you can either go back and farm a little bit your ability release stuff, or you go to the next level of difficulty and start from the beginning because it has, I believe, easy, normal, and an expert for the quest. And then you just keep going, you can rinse and repeat, and then you see how that goes. Oh, it's beginner, normal, and expert, right? And then, um, it's a good side. I feel like this is a good side game. I won't say it's like a main game. And if this is your first gotcha, be careful with your money spending, okay? Just just be careful. <laughs> Anyways, Lost Ark, closed beta, right around the corner. I got into the creator program. Um, so I'll be busy with that. I'll be playing. Uh, there's a lot of gotcha games coming up. Revive Witch on the 10th. And I believe that on the 8th, is Blue Archive. So, and there's Tales of uh, Luminary or whatever that's also coming out when Lost Ark closed beta drops. Anyway, so there's a lot of gacha games and uh, Lost Ark uh, Pokemon Diamond as well on the 19th. So, anyway, feel free to check out my stream, join my Discord, let me know what you guys are excited for. And with that, later days.